thank you everyone for gathering to uh, pray for the West Coast. It's a favourite place on our hearts, isn't it, Sam? Um, just a Absolutely. little bit of background about the West Coast. Uh, it's, it's a region that uh, has a lot of heart, and very independent, but struggles a little bit in things like our median wage is below the national average. Um, most of the pastors and clergy on the West Coast are part-time. They, their parishes, their churches can't afford to employ them full-time. Um, the property increases that we've seen around the country kind of like reached us over the last year, and that's seen massive rates increases for some what were very sort of low decile regions, but their, their property prices have gone up as people have left the bigger centres looking for somewhere more economical to live. And that's had a compounding effect on uh, people's rates increases uh, in, in these smaller areas. So they are really struggling. And again, as we all know, inflation and all the other pressures that the rest of our country is uh, meeting. So, you know, the coast has is, is got a lot going for it, but economically, there's also some challenges uh, we're facing at the moment. Uh, in particular for Buller, because uh, Matt unfortunately can't be with us tonight. Uh, Buller, as you know, was hit by two massive floods. The anniversary of the first one is actually uh, on the 17th of July, not too far away. Um, they've still got 63 families who are in temporary accommodation and we're in the process still with the regional council and the district council of working out where their flood protection walls and things are going to go. But it means that some uh, suburbs will miss out and that's a bit of a tension. Uh, the Minister's Association up there was, was quite involved in working with the council and the government and trying to provide relief to the families um, in that area. Uh, food parcels, support, and in other ways. So, and also I, I find, I know that for um, our Anglican person up there, Matt, uh, he's finding it really hard um, and family situation. So he would really appreciate prayer. Here uh, in Greymouth, um, particular focus, I guess, for us would be uh, something we never really had before, and that is a gang presence. Um, over the last three years, poverty and things have led to... Um, uh, and a pretty charismatic leader uh, and within one of the gangs has led to the growth of what Aotearoa natives and that's led to intimidation and increase in drug. Um, yeah, a lot of young people have been recruited as um, prospects and running, running drugs for them and things like that. So that's been pretty, something the town hasn't experienced before and is grappling with how to deal with from a police and civic perspective. Um, in general, I'll talk about some prayer needs and then I'll hand over to, to Sam to talk about what's happening in Hokitika and South Westland. Uh, and prayer needs, um, we have a regional gathering of clergy that gather every, uh, about twice a year. We started just a couple of years ago and that's been quite special. Um, pretty much all the clergy from the West Coast have been able to gather. We've met in Punakaiki and Harry Harry and we're going to be in Buller in September this year. And just to be able to come together with all the Christian leaders from across the West Coast and um, talk together, share together, support one another and to pray together has been quite special. So give thanks for that and pray that um, the meeting in September will be a very meaningful one for us. And just keep praying for church leaders. You know, they, they uh, it's a pressured situation. You know, <laughs> New Zealand's getting tougher, secular, and um, there is, you know, the economic pressure, um, there's a, there's a lot going on. Our churches are graying. Uh, we want to grow them, but we struggle with the resourcing and everything like that. The heart is there, but it's a harder battle for us. So pray for our leaders. And for the equipping I've written down here, for the equipping of the saints, that they might be uh, strong and confident in the gospel and that there would be a, a, a winsome boldness by the Spirit to, to share the gospel where they can. You know, we just love to see our people talking about Jesus more. Um, yeah, that's that's probably me and the, and the prayer needs. So, Sam, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about South Westland, and then we'll pray for our regions before we go into those breakout groups. Sure. Um, uh, Tim was talking about some of the challenges that face the coast and in many ways. Um, South Westland, we've got Hokitika, and then then South Westland, south of us, there's seven communities down there uh, with small populations. Um, with um, the last two years and the lack of tourism, some of those populations have decreased by up to a third. Um, and that, that's had some massive local impacts. 
um, everything from um, clubs and town halls and churches, um, places that have, have uh, before had a lot of support from local businesses in order to maintain um, either infrastructure or um, um, people capability um, just isn't there anymore. Um, um, not last time, but this, uh, time before I was in South Westland about a month ago, I was at a meeting in Fox and, and just had there were people in tears about their inability to, to um, survive economically in the current environment. Um, and as well as impacting the community, it is impacting the churches as well. And, and today, um, my wife and I, Kim and I, met with um, a couple of ministers who minister, one of them based in South Westland, one of the ministers a lot in South Westland, um, just looking at, at, at what do we do and how do we envision the next five years in supporting those communities um, and discussing some things like um, running some youth programs down there because in those communities there's not a lot for the youth and very little in the way of anything, let alone Christian content. Um, so it'd be really good to pray for those communities as communities, but also um, for the small churches and small parish in those, in those communities. Um, and uh, pray for God to move in their midst. Um, yeah, and pray for outreach into those communities as well. 